Okay. Help yourself, yeah. This is how the residents of Camp Hill, Milton Keynes yeah. start their days. Cheers. A hearty breakfast surrounded by friends before a busy day of workshops. What do you make in the pottery class? I'm making a big chicken at the moment, Ruben. Founded in the 1980s, Camp Hill aims to offer people with learning disabilities a home for life, but also the opportunity to work and live as part of a community. And almost everything produced here goes on sale to the general public. On a Tuesday evening, some people go to the uh, Groovy Gecko. Is that a nightclub? It is, yeah. Try not to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I live with my boyfriend, Steve, and I met him here. Living at Camp Hill, Milton Keynes has opened lots of opportunities for me. Do you hope to stay here? forever. Yes. Thanks to advances in medical care and health equality, people with a learning disability are living longer than ever before. But getting older comes through its own complications. I've come to find out how age-related conditions like dementia and diabetes are changing people's care needs. Because we're a community and we know each other really well, people have lived here for many, many years. Sometimes when people have come to a time in their lives when perhaps their mobility becomes less, or even they get to the end of life, it's been really sad to see people either have to move out or struggle really with the physical environment. So the next thing we need to do, and we've got a big fundraising program going on right now, is to build new accommodation that's much more flexible so that as people age, the buildings can change rather than the people having to go out of those buildings and move somewhere else. Camp Hill Milton Keynes are looking to raise £15 million in order to build these new homes. So it's clear to see why residents are so keen to stay. And I couldn't resist taking part in a theatre group silent movie. He's gonna give you have to go out and see your friends, do different activities, try things new, because if you're not trying things new, you're living pretty much a boring life. You're not being your own person. Mm. <laughs> Who made those bird boxes? That was the one I made mean, myself. About well, four months ago, I saw a little blue tit going in and out of that. James, like many people with learning disabilities, is cared for by his parents. But as they face the complications of ageing, they are having to think about what the future holds. I took the early time and Claire was really ill. Um, lost her a couple of times. Um, so to begin to think of what would happen to us in the future, what would happen to our James. Like so, if I wasn't here yet. We've put things in place. Put things in place for our James We've when we aren't here. James. There's a trust and everything for him. James's parents recently retired, but were shocked to receive a letter telling them that as they now receive a full pension, they are no longer entitled to the count's allowance they'd been relying on to support their son. It seems very wrong that we've been left out without any support. The system drastically needs changing, it does. And we all feel the same way, the carers from our support group. Yeah. yeah. We worry about each other because we're like links in a chain. And if one thing goes, that's a dramatic effect on, you know, on everybody. The government say carers are vital and they will top up the state pension if it's less than carers allowance. Other benefits may also be available for families like Jim and Claire. Could you manage without your parents? No, I couldn't manage, manage without my parents, because my parents love me, I love them. Too much. It's, it's, it's hard breaking as well, just in case losing them. That one from the first Saturday infected, were we? I've come to meet Gary. 
he lived with his mum until it got too difficult for her in later life. In 2016, he was introduced to Emma and Dandy by Shared Life's Oldham. Both sport on the same football team, so we both go to the game. Go to the pub. Oh yeah, we like going to the pub, don't we? Yeah. Going for a meal out, don't we? Yeah, going for a meal out. Shared Lives is an alternative solution to care, where an adult or young person who needs long-term support lives with an approved carer. The print not great. Gary is 63 now, and Emma and Andy are in their 40s. As a household, they share family and community life. It's about opening your house to somebody else and having somebody um, to share your life with, yeah. Were you worried about where you would live when you were moved out of your mum's house? Yeah. Nobody did the like or enjoy leaving home came to to Andy and Emma. It's been great ever since. Do you see yourselves going older together? Yeah. As long as we're all fit and healthy, then yeah, Not we problem. could all grow old. We will grow old yeah. together, won't we? Yeah. As his needs change, then obviously us as carers would change. We'd have to change and, and we'll look after. Look after you, wouldn't we? Yeah. In our long time, we're going to watch Channel 4 News, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watch Channel 4 News for one person only. Who's that? Cathy Newman. Oh. <laughs> Getting older is something that most of us don't think about. But as we improve access to healthcare for everyone, is the care industry ready to ensure that people's changing needs can be met? This is Ruben Water with Point for Channel 4 News.